but wait a minute. <laughs> Didn't I just tell you? Do I have to say it again? That's kind of the whole vibe of this thing, you know, is just, uh, I, I, were you listening to me? I'm trying to tell you something. Now, uh, you know, getting down to the uh, sort of the, the guitar aspects of this here. Uh, when you play a slow blues, you want to lead it off with something definitive, you know, so BB. You know, he'll play something like that. Classic, classic setup phrases or pickup phrases. And what I played was a different version of that. Now we're in the key of C. And I thought, I'm going to deliberately start on the low end. Guitar players tend to ignore that region. Everybody's up on the high strings almost all the time. And so my thinking is, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to convince this person, <laughs> my significant other, that, uh, you know, she checked my phone and saw that there were some funny messages there, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to convince her, nah, that didn't really happen, you know. Nah, you didn't see anything. Gaslight, right? Is that what they call it? So I'm going to start real calm, you know. Yeah, oh, there's nothing, nothing to worry about here, right? So starting in my, my male voice down in the low register. Right? Now, what am I playing there in terms of melody? Well, it's... There's the... There's that sweet note, but it's at the bottom, that E, which is the... Right? So it's a, it's a kind of a sweet phrase. It's comforting. And then, see, I'm playing around with the, the sweet side of the spectrum. Again, the blues tonality is not minor or major. It's, it's everything. So my recommendation is don't separate it into this scale or that scale. It's the whole gamut all wrapped up in one. You want to be sweet. There it is. You want to be a little bit edgier. Right? It's not a different scale. It's a different attitude within that one tonality. So anyway, playing around with the sweeter sound. Now, because the low end of the neck for many guitar players is kind of, um, it's like an unplowed field, <laughs> let's, let's call it, um, you, can, you can wind up down there and just be totally lost. But there's an advantage to that, which is you really have to listen and make choices about what to play, not based on a scale pattern that you played a billion times, but rather on where's the next note, you know? That gives your playing a little bit more substance right there. It's not automatic. It's, it's more hearing it and playing what you hear. The, the key mantra is play what you hear, hear what you play. The fingers will just go off forever and you can be watching TV and there they go, you know. But if you're playing what you hear and hear what you play, then you're present. You're making it happen. So, right? And then... Uh, end up the first chorus. Now, she's not listening. She's still pissed off. She doesn't believe me. So I'm going to start to plead. Right? So now I'm, I'm kind of getting into my yelling voice, you know. A little bit, well, what do you mean you don't believe me? Haven't I been good to you all these years? You know, you can come up with your own scenario, but you know what I'm saying. And there's a little of that conversational, right? What do you mean? What, 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 what are you talking about? You know, it's, it's just sort of a vibe, not specific, but just general. The urgency, the, the tension. And then it's also in the attack, playing it real hard snapping the notes, right? That says everything. It isn't about the note, it's about the touch, the attitude. 
and gradually... Right? In various ways, I'm increasing the tension. Now I got, I'm full on yelling and saying, what are you talking about here? You know, okay, so suppose, suppose it was messages on my phone. What a, it didn't mean anything, you know. <laughs> Don't get so mad. Now, you know, uh, 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 in the next part, the, we come up on those stops and it's... <laughs> right? I'm making a very definite, strong, clear point and just digging in. And it's blues. It's not sweet anymore. It's just kind of edgy. And then... Uh, Right? Hammering a note, bending as far as I can and then letting it down a little bit at a time is pleading, right? Now I'm in the pleading mode. I'm no longer yelling. Now I'm begging. <laughs> Albert King <clears throat> was a master of that and, and could express the whole range of emotion in, in like one phrase. Just phenomenal how he could do that. So that's, that's kind of the gold standard right there. But that, that sort of thing where it's just, just one thing and you just kind of work it and you can hear all that emotion ble bleeding out of it uh, along the way. Now the fourth chorus I'm kind of <laughs> see now I'm I'm begging, you know. <laughs> right? Then the band stops. I got nothing more to say. I, I shot my, you know, shot my shot. I, I made my argument. She didn't buy it. Now I got to face reality. Yeah, I, I screwed up. I'm, I'm the one to blame. So, you know, <laughs> sorry. I, I, please now take me back. <laughs> Letting all the air out. to where we started. <laughs> so there was major or sweet sounds in there. There were nasty, bluesy sounds in there. It's all part of that same tonality. I'm playing in different parts of the neck, of course. As I get more agitated, I go higher up and I'm yelling down low. I'm kind of talking and whispering, you know. These are all resources that you have that aren't so specifically technical but they, they make the point. If you start with the goal and work backwards, then suddenly all that stuff starts to make sense. And it, and it just cuts through the haze. You say, yeah, I'm going to play that because that is what I hear. And if I play what I hear and hear what I play, nobody can argue with that. <laughs>